flow charts diagrams and tables okay now this is one question type that you will uh, it sometimes may not be there but yes they are uh, mostly they are there but in certain passages that you might have worked on you may not find any flow chart or a diagram or a table as well so it's not necessary that you'll get it in every passage that you solve but yes it is still a part of majority of the passages but um, again uh, there might not be many questions on flow chart and diagrams and table hardly one you may come across out of all the three but still they are equally uh, as uh, i say that they are equally important and we must know how to solve these questions also so you should complete your flow charts diagrams and tables that paraphrase sentence from the text again the flow charts diagrams that basically the diagram is a picture wherein you have to label it okay so you will definitely have to look for the exact word from the the passage and you just pick up that word and you label it with flow charts and tables there may be paraphrasing included but no synonyms so definitely you have to look for the exact word from the passage but yes there might be the other parts of the sentence where you may require to know the keywords or the synonyms again you are given a word limit questions follow the order of the text and use keywords to look for your answers now i have this now these are very simple questions so i will not explain them in detail but you have to just label this diagram of a, of an of an egg and you can start reading uh, you can just look at the picture at once how many parts are there something in the center then there's a yellow circle then the other parts of the egg so as you read you will start getting the answers and there i think is another slide too so when you are done with this i will help you do i'll shift to the next slide so did you get all of them mostly everyone has got it first is you, number 5 is yolk that everyone has got the yellow inner part of the egg after that we come down to the yolk is anchored by a chalaza a spiral rope like strand so it is anchored by this rope like strand over here okay then we have there are two chalaza one is on the top but then you have to mention that is at number 3 another very important part of the egg is albumin the albumin which is the inner thick white part of the egg so inner thick white part of the egg will be what number 4 and then we have what Let's, now let's talk about the outer, outer part of the egg that is the shell so the outer part of the shell that is number 1 and it is hard protective coating of the egg now what is remaining let's see yes then you have the air cell and you also have the germinal disk so the germinal disk is which part it's a small circular white spot so number 2 is germinal disk and the air cell where is the air cell the air cell usually rests between the outer and the inner membranes as the egg ages so this is the air cell number 6 great good so all of you have managed it correctly all six this was easy i knew everyone can do it let's 